We have got Alex and Hamish here. Now, I'm not sure if you saw Mark's bench and his uh, his wood storage mm -hmm. area and all of his fire pit that he made as well. Uh, so you've got a bit of competition, actually, for it's, your DIY bits. Know, it's quite it, it impressive. Yeah, yeah, pretty not good. Not bad, not bad. He texted me a couple of photos over the weekend. And yeah, sort of there it is. Midway through. There it is on I screen. Thought, oh yeah. He looks like he's done a pretty good job to me. Yeah. He's outstanding. So it's, it's not bad. He, and he can cook. Right. I know who's coming back from DIY next we week. Look how shocked we sound. Totally shocked. It's actually not dreadful. No. <laughs> you should remind me of those two old dudes on the Muffets. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the heck Judging heck people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What are we saying about you when we're just oh. sitting over there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, so what are we talking today? Insulation. Yep. We are, yeah. There's about a million homes in New Zealand that don't have insulation. That seems like a really high yeah, amount. It's a lot of houses. And pre-90s, you didn't have to have it. When you build a house, you didn't need to have insulation. So, you, didn't. you know, cut costs don't have it. Well, I mean, these just have um, foil and bits and pieces. And all. The best bit about this topic, though, is that Alex and I agree that we should pay someone to do this one. Oh, right. Really? Yeah. 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 Okay, well, it's, let's talk through what you've got, the, what, yeah. what you've bought in from home. Yes. Oh, well, the, <laughs> it, insulating is a pretty hideous job if you're DIYing. You can, but oh, I've done it before. It's horrible. It's like candy um, yeah, look, stick your head up in your roof and have a look what's up there. And you can see in this video that um, it's if it's insulated, it's probably pretty inadequate and old and rat infested and big gaps everywhere. So it's not really doing much of a job for you. Okay. So this what we have here is called Jetstream Max, which is a fluffy stuff which is blown in to the roof. And as you can see, it just fills up the roof cavity. It goes to about two foot high in the end once it's over all those rafters. And that's the key going over the rafters and the joists so that you don't have any weak spots because wood has like 0.1 of a R of insulation values. So that's pretty useless. Don't insulate your, uh, over your rafters and the heat's just going to go straight up through your rafters and that's where you're going to get those mouldy marks on your ceiling. Mm. That's right. I mean, heat, heat basically escapes much like water does. It finds the easiest point to get out and off it goes. Um, why don't you explain quickly, Alex, R values? Because right. I think that's important because yep. this trips people up. It does. It sounds it, tricky. Well, you look very serious all the time. Well, I, this is, insulation's a serious topic. Yeah. It, it is. It is um, R values is basically the, the level of insulation power that your insulation material has, whatever it is. So the higher the R value, the more insulating it is. So it is also therefore more expensive, but it's going to do a better job for you. So it's going to keep the heat into your house longer, which is mean, which means you're, you know, yep. you're pumping less electricity into your heating. Right. For okay. So just quickly then, what do you need to do if you have a choice? Should you be doing roof and floor, or roof or floor, or walls? What's most important? Start mm. with roof because heat rises. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And it'll typically sort of reduce your energy loss by about 30%. It won't stop it because it'll look for the next place out, which is your it walls will. and your windows and if you've then got your walls insulated, which you can get a similar product pumped into the walls that goes in dry, uh, which is called Cozy Wall, pretty similar looking stuff, that will yep. get put in. Or you can take all your jib off and you can put bats in yourself, which is expensive and time consuming and messy and hideous. Okay, okay so well, he doesn't like the bats in, <laughs> So just don't, no, do it. <laughs> just don't do it. Okay, so I need an expert opinion, so yeah. Hamish. Oh! Uh, <laughs> that's a bird. Well, hello there, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> is it worth doing your roof and your floor if you don't know if your walls are done? The common thing that we're all told is get your ceiling and uh, underfloor done. I mean, to me, I kind of felt there was a certain amount of marketing going on there because we don't lose much heat out through the floor. No. Right. If you are going to do it and you can't do your walls for maybe the cost of it or it's a brick home and you can't go in through the inside because it's just been decorated, yeah, sure, do your ceiling, do your floor, but then you really want to address things like your windows, so you want some decent thermal blinds or drapes to help present, mm. prevent the loss out through your windows. Yep. It's about doing the best to create the entire chili bin thing. Yeah, Alex the, loves the, his chili bin the, analogy. The, Here it goes. The thermal envelope. The thermal okay. envelope. The thermal so envelope. so, so yeah. your chili bin, Quickly, will, the thermal will keep, envelope. chili bin will keep your stuff cold, but there if you, you start drilling holes in it, it's not going to keep it hot, as cold for long, you know? So if you count those holes as your windows and your doors and things like that, then there's all these ways for the, okay. the heat to get out. Great. So nice. I think we can all agree that it's very important to insulate your house. Yes, yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. And right time of year to be discussing this as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Yeah, to be honest, you left it a bit too late if you're thinking about it now, because yeah. there'll probably be a big waiting list from all the installers, but move and you will at least still have it done this winter.